What sticks out to me about today's assignment is working with a CDI is different in that when I work with another trilingual interpreter, we tend to put the Spanish on the mouth and then we use ASL on our hands. And um, with the CDI interpreter, that actually caused a little, a little bit of confusion for that interpreter, and I didn't expect that. I've never had that happen. Um, so that was today's, I guess, take home experience for me. Um, as a trilingual interpreter, I feel that mouthing the Spanish helps um, me process the vocabulary that's going to come out of my hands. So it was a little bit of a challenge to try to turn that off and just listen to the Spanish and then produce the ASL without that support vocabulary on my lips. So that was my challenge today. At first it was a challenge. Um, I wasn't sure where I was going to put that information in my brain. There was so much going on. But when I realized how much time um, is actually required for the CDI to do the expansion of the vocabulary that I'm, I'm receiving and I'm interpreting, they, have, they need more processing time to expand it. So I, I was able to empathize with that. So at first it was a little overwhelming. I thought, well, I don't know where I'm going to put it in my head. But when I saw how much work it takes for the CDI to, you know, put everything out visually and expand, 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 then I felt, I felt very empathetic and I thought, okay, I can do this. Uh, I, can, I can work with this. It, it was a little bit of a challenge. I had to, I mean, I had to find that place, you know, either in my frontal lobe or somewhere in my brain where I could hold the Spanish vocabulary and actually not produce it in my mouth and then tell my hands, you know, from Spanish in my brain to tell my hands the English without telling my hands the English. I mean, I really, I didn't realize till today that that's actually part of my support system is mouthing the Spanish. It just was like something I just learned today, how much I use that. So it was a little challenging at first. Um, but the CDI was very helpful uh, when I asked for clarification by telling me um, that that was confusing. You know, I, I didn't realize that, you know, I figured, oh, well, they're, they're watching my hands. They know what's going on. But they're actually watching everything. And even though the CDI is, a, you know, an expert in their, in their language and I might be, you know, skilled in my language, it kind of created a, a disjoint. So I really felt empathy. <laughs> How is that different in a class setting versus here? Well, yeah, definitely in a classroom setting, you know, the Spanish vocabulary might need to be fingerspelled. Um, you know, the student might be, you know, learning the Spanish. It might be on a test. So I, I need to speak the word and spell the word, whereas in this situation, I'm working with a hearing client that's Spanish. The student doesn't speak Spanish. The student doesn't need the word spelled or the word mouthed or they just need the ASL. So um, that was like a brain switch for me also. Mm -hmm. At first I felt a little bit tense about holding all that information. Um, I guess because I'm so used to every word and every word. So I thought, okay, how am I gonna, you know, retain every single word and then be able to feed the CDI? But something that was very helpful um, that the CDI taught me today was that they actually want me to get to the point of what I'm listening to. That I don't really need to give the CDI every single word in English. That's actually not helpful to the CDI at all. They want, um, and he actually used the word meat, which was just such a good visual. And again, that's their expertise. But when when they said, just give me the meat, you know, get what you, you know, everything that's going on, give me the point, and then allow me to expand on that point. That I, f I felt like it kind of relieved some of the pressure on me to hold all that information. Because then instead of trying to hold every word, I kind of would try to catch the concepts and hold those instead. And it, that was a little bit of mind juggling also, but I felt more relief when he gave me that, I guess, flexibility as to what I'm gonna hold. So at first it was like a little bit stressful, but then I felt more relieved when I had that information from the CDI of what he needed. 
Well, I love trilingual interpreting. It's, it's very exciting. Um, I've worked with amazing, two at least amazing trilingual interpreters that I know of. Um, and what I enjoy about the experience is, is how we support each other, um, how we support each other, you know, through uh, the feedback with the cues, the feedback with the holding. And so today it was interesting to experience that with a deaf interpreter. It was a new experience for me. Um, and that can be challenging, you know. I really see the CDI as a trilingual interpreter. I, I, I even asked, you know, don't you see yourself that way? And the CDI was like, no. I'm like, yeah, you're processing three languages. And so that's part of what I enjoy about trilingual interpreting. And that's, that's part of the experience that I saw in the community that I, I, I was able to, I guess, apply here today is that support system. It's there, if not more so when working with a CDI. You really do support each other in that sense, so. Oh, I also did appreciate um, when the CDI helped me um, to realize that as the hearing interpreter, I really needed to take control of the information that was coming in from the speaker and tell the speaker, you know, hold one moment while I'm processing and the CDI is processing because the CDI is, you know, interpreting in ASL, so they, they really can't look to the speaker like we do as interpreters to, to cue the speaker as, you know, okay or hold on. So when, when you know, I was given that opportunity to do that, I felt like it went more smooth. Um, and also it, it was the pre-conference I felt allowed for us to do that and for us to chat about how we were going to handle the situation. I think it's so important. Um, it really helps also to get to know each other as, you know, ASL users, you know, and we do that also in the community as interpreters, but more so I think in a trilingual setting, you need to build that trust, you need to get to know each other and chat a little bit. So it's, it is the pre-conference I think is really important, but having that um, opportunity to, to be the one to, I guess, referee the speaker and allow the CDI to have that lag time, it was, it was new for me, but I felt like it went real smooth. So I appreciated that feedback from them.